This is a demonstration of the drum synthesis lab for ECE 5760 at Cornell. On the right side of the screen, you can see the DE1 SOC board, which contains the FPGA and built-in ARM. And then on the left side of the screen is a command line interface um, that is available through an SSH connection to the onboard ARM. And the FPGA is currently programmed to integrate the 2D wave equation on a rectangular mesh. The width of that mesh is hard coded in Verilog and it's set to be 170 nodes. And the height of that mesh can be set by the user through this command line interface. And as the FPGA integrates that 2D wave equation, the amplitude of the center node at that mesh is sent to an onboard DAC at audio rate so that we can listen to it. And what we'll see is that as we increase the size of that mesh, the sound produced by integrating the 2D wave equation transitions from something that sounds like a cowbell or a woodblock into something that sounds more like a drum. So I'll start by having a 20 by 170 drum. And as I increase the size, you'll hear the fundamental frequency drop. And the other thing that uh, the FPGA is programmed to do is to model the nonlinear relationship between the speed of sound in the membrane and the instantaneous tension in that membrane. And using the switches on the FPGA, I can control the amount of contribution that that nonlinear effect has on the audio output. And with more of that audio, with more of that nonlinear effect incorporated, you can hear the pitch glide that you hear in real drums. As I decrease the amount of that effect, it's you, you hear a more, you hear less pitch glide and more of a constant tone out of each drum. So just as point of comparison, this is what it sounds like with, yeah, with pitch glide. And now I'll turn the pitch glide off. And this is what it sounds like. And back on again. <laughs> 